Today is a very special day. That's right, I get to show you my new rack. It's big, it's hot, and I just wanna stuff my face in it. That's in the script. Wow. You know what else is in the script? Are you lagging out while gaming? Use Glasswire to see what apps are wasting your bandwidth and causing your games to lag. Get 25% off at the link in the video description. even have a knife? Uh, yes. Oh no. Now that's a knife. <laughs> it's conveniently Linus size. Oh wow, actually, you know. That's wow. ladybug power that's, right there. It's not bad. Ugh. Wait, no what? Jake, we screwed it up. What? Do not break down skid. Well, like at a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen this thing yet. No, I haven't. This is uh, hopefully, Maybe one of the best things I've ever done in my life. Big shout out to Rack Solutions. Ah! <laughs> Big shout out to racksolutions.com for sending us this thing. <laughs> oh, are you serious oh. right now? <laughs> oh my God, I thought it was covered in pink bubble wrap. <laughs> I was 100% sure that I was looking at like that ESD safe. Oh yeah, or like, like the, pink or the blue or pink kind yeah. of stuff. This is oh. extremely vibrant. <laughs> I sent them a sample of like cloth dye that I found online that was like the most hot pink I could find. Apparently the first time they painted it, this is a new thing. They've never painted a rack this color before. They've they never done this color before? <laughs> it didn't quite come out right, so they've actually painted this rack twice. Oh my God, it looks amazing. Oh yeah, wow. Wow. Holy sh! This oh. is sick. This finish is so nice. <laughs> it's made in the USA, so they can, you know, have hands-on with the quality control, and they can do customization stuff like this. Wow. Also, this thing is huge. Well, some of us are getting work done. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm kind of a slacker. Way to be, Jake. <laughs> Ow! No, I chipped it. Oh, what? I chipped it. How bad? No! Disrespectful. I know. I'm gonna, I tell, I'm gonna tell them you're just a bad guy. All right, two down, slacker. What do you mean, I'm done three. Are you done three? Wait, is this the back or is this the front? Oh God, I don't know. I guess this is the back now because you messed it up. Oh God, oh, that's tight. I have side cutters. How are we gonna move this? We could tilt it down. Yeah, should be fine. Yeah, let's just tilt it off that way. I don't think tilting this is a good idea. This whole skid was 290 pounds, including the skid. Do you think you could deadlift 150 pounds? I think it'll be okay. I don't know if this is the correct orientation, but, um. Okay, just need more. Are you pushing? Oh, no, uh, no I'm like just kind of letting you do your... Are you going all the way down? Oh, yeah. Okay, all oh, right. Oh, sugar, we're going down, swinging. <sighs> Oh, it's pretty heavy. Oh, look at the inside. Oh my, oh my God. God. This is like you go to like a car show and you see that guy with just like the balled out engine compartment. Like he just had everything painted. Can you get lime green ethernet patch cables? Infinite cables can make anything. God, we are such shills. <laughs> uh, there one... there They're all out now. Now we just have to do the reverse. The reverse. Oh, wow, these casters. Yeah. This thing is really nice. Oh, you did, you mangled it. You suck. It's legitimately not visible and Rack Solutions will send me a thing of touch up paint anyway, right? Okay, so let's pick up this end, put it on the floor and then we tilt it up. Here we go. You can do it all by yourself, right? Ah, uh, it's actually, it's, it's a really awkward height because this is kind of too low and this is kind of too high for me. What you're saying is ah! you, you should be taller, right? Okay. How you doing? You're good, you're good. You're good, you're good? Yeah, almost there, buddy. Okay. Are you gonna let go at some point? Uh, no. Okay, well, let's just, we're there, wow. All right, here we go, let's ride wait, it down the driveway. Hey! Oh, wait, wait. Hey! oh, hold on. What? I think we overlooked something. Oh, the stairs. The stairs. Well, we could just put the cardboard down there. I don't think the cardboard's gonna. I wanna try to lift it. You wanna try, okay. Yvonne, can you help? <laughs> oh, could we just tilt it down? I mean, what? it's got all this foam on it, right? Like, No, you can't lift from there. You gotta lift from the bottom. I don't wanna lift from the bottom. You gotta lift from the bottom and use your legs. Whoa. Oh, no, they ripped. Okay, fine. Okay, let's try it. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, Ow, God. my foot. Oh, it came down on my toe. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Or wait, why don't we just tilt it down and carry it horizontally up? Because then I can hold it better. So just tip so it towards me. So I can tilt me. it towards yeah, you and yeah, then yeah, I'll lift that. it over the steps. Yeah. Tilting. Hold on, foot. 
It's Try very not large. To drop it. If you have to put it down, oh. put it down slowly. You okay? Oh yeah, I went to stab my hand into one of the holes on the top to use it as a grip. Okay. And I missed. Okay, I've got this now. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna hit the stairs. Okay. Okay. Um. Sprinkler. Let's go back forward. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh no, this is a bad angle. Hold on. Back it up just a touch. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Okay. It's resting on the foam on the top stair. So now we're just gonna teeter it up? Yeah, we'll slide it because we can't put it down on the top because there's yeah. no foam here. Yeah. Okay, we got this. Yes. Why didn't we bring a dolly? <laughs> just keep going if you can. I'm gonna move this just disgusting wet mat. Ugh, it weighs like 20 pounds. Ew. Oh, that's tight. Oh yeah. Oh, should we put something down here? It's a lot of cardboard. Okay, ow. Oh. Oh. Stop. Oh. Ow, my hands, ouchie. Two inch gap. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Ah. Time oh, to on, keep tilting, lifting the rack. Okay. Is there any damage on that side or are we good? There's a nail. Embedded oh. in the foam. Oh. Vaughn, how do you like my new rack? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tight. Oh, I don't know about that because there's a ledge. Okay. Ah! Okay, I'll brace it. You want to tilt it towards me? Ow! Ow, my finger. Okay, you okay? You're good, you're good, you're good. Keep going. Okay. Because it's going to go over the ledge. Okay, right? is it over? Oh, yeah. This was too easy. Oh, okay. too easy. Why'd you drop it? Be careful with that. No, no, I'm not gonna scratch it again. I would never scratch it twice. Come on. I mean, you suck either way. But like, well. Oh, it's gorgeous. We should get like a, a car detailer to come and polish the side of it. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> you know how bad you're gonna feel if you ever accidentally scratch this thing? Oh, you almost just nailed the desk. Oh, sorry. Oh no, there's a tiny dent. What? Oh no. Oh wow, that's really small. We gotta get the paintless dent repair guy to come. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> oh, I love how this rack has dual panels. Are they locked right now? They might be locked right now. Where's the keys? Let's just unlock everything and then lose those keys because we're never gonna use them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, it's grounded door too. Yeah. That's not really gonna matter because we're not gonna ground the rack anyways. <laughs> Hi. The only thing that would be sicker is if these had retainers. I was all like, Jake, don't worry. I got the UPS, I got the heavy stuff. Oh my God. No, you took the easy thing, damn it. It's a lithium ion UPS, it weighs like nothing. Wow, actually the way that the two spools of wire come in, there's two holes in the top of the rack. Oh, perfect. It's almost like perfect. Naturally, the first thing we're gonna install is the UPS. Now, normally the reason for doing that would be because UPSs with their lead acid batteries are extremely heavy. And you wanna build up your rack from bottom to top so that it doesn't end up top heavy and accidentally tilt over or whatever. But this is the Eaton 9PX, which we had on hand from a sponsor spot we actually did for it recently. The main benefit, aside from these lithium based batteries being, look at this, way lighter. Wow. Is that they have a service lifetime of Eaton claims about 10 years. I wouldn't be replacing this thing for a freaking decade. The thing is, this puppy is only rated for around 1350 watts of power delivery, and if we actually move all the systems in the house in here, in addition to servers and networking gear, we're gonna be well in excess of that. So this is gonna be the first thing we install, and hopefully these are rails. Huzzah, they're rails. Okay, good. Okay. You ready to Man, stuff your rack? This, this is gonna look horrible and no, also no, amazing no. at the same time. Everyone will agree. This is going to look amazing. Even the wife? Oh yeah. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume her answer. Oh, you're wrecking the paint. Oh no, wait, wait. Hold on. I just lift up that side. I'm trying. Oh. Woo! Rest in peace, paint. Aye. Okay, it's in. That was easy. Wow. Oh, it's so cute. This is the cutest little UPS. It is eye searing. It, it's, a, it's a nice rack, man. Also, maybe don't lose these keys, hey? <laughs> it looks it, so out of place in this room. Oh, there goes our light. What in the f uh, BMS communication lost. Can't talk to the battery management system. Um, hello? Here. Oh. oh. There you go. I think the screen, you can spin it if it's upside down, too. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, I get it. 
Okay, cool. So, so yeah, this is, there we go. Uh, All right, I'm giving it gas. Yeah, I wonder if they, what does it say? BMS com loss. Click okay. This is a lot of Unify stuff. Where does it all go? On the Unify Design Center, there's like a rack design tool. So I laid it out in there already, so I'll show you that. Yeah. Holy bananas, that is a lot of Unify gear. Hey, thanks, Ubiquity. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea they were sending all this over. What the heck? Well, we need a 10 gig, and they have new 10 gig switches, so. We need 10 gig. What do, you, what do you mean? I mean, I want 10 gig. You know they have a 25 gig coming out. Really? So I looked up a couple people's other designs and it seems like the best way to do it is have the patch panel right above the switch. Okay. And then you can just patch in with little cables. Sick. So we just gotta make sure the contractor actually puts the right things into the right patch panel. Yes. Oh, give me those cage nuts. I really oh, wanna yes. try this. I've been waiting, ah! I've been waiting like months to try this thing. You want these nuts? <laughs> What if this just sucks? I know, right? We've hyped it so much now. <laughs> I believe in your rack solutions. Okay, so you just put the cage nut in there. Oh, yeah. it holds it. Look at that. Oh, uh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> Did I bend the tool? What the? F you know, it might actually just be these ubiquity cage nuts. They don't really squish. Doesn't work. I was reefing on her pretty hard there. What if I, let me just do one test, like. Ow. <sighs> Oh, okay. We tried. Well, we're putting them in by hand. <laughs> There's gotta be some data center guy here that's just sitting here laughing at us. Yeah, I know, right? Ow, that really did chew up my finger. If only you had the LTT store screwdriver. I do. And you'd have, have this access. other screwdriver with a flat head. You do not have the LTT store screwdriver. Well, I have this other screwdriver that has a flat head yeah, in but it. that's not what I said. Well, this doesn't look like that? rails. No, those are the power cables. This is a power cable. Yeah, so that box, the redundant power system, it's a giant power supply, basically. Got it. I think it's an ATX connector. Is it 24 pins? Yeah. You plug these boys in, there you go. And then you plug them into the back of all of your Unify gear, up to six of them per one of these units. And it'll provide, I mean, how's the power redundant at that point? So most like enterprise rack mount switches, servers, whatever, will have more than one power supply. So that means if a power supply fails, you still have power. It also means you can unplug it and plug it into something else, like you can hot swap. But the important bit for us is just, if a power supply inside one of these things dies, it'll have a backup. Things we should have at the office that somehow ended up at Linus's house. <laughs> This one go right under it? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, damn. Oh, you dropped my nuts. Oh, sorry, you dropped your own nuts. You get wrecked. In addition to the magnet being super strong in the shaft, we have a magnetic zit. So if you need to reach into somewhere and grab something, eh, you can do it. Are you telling me your shaft has a strong magnet? How strong that is. It's the strongest shaft magnet? Look, it's a useful feature. It's one of those things where you don't need it until like, you need it, and you're real mad if you don't have it. Oh, you suck at putting things in racks. Oh, shut up. It's like so crooked. What, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It totally it doesn't. It looks ugly. It objectively doesn't matter. It objectively does, because it looks ugly. Now, I couldn't help noticing that in addition to a dream machine, we've got one of the NVRs. We're not gonna have just one other NVR, we're gonna have two other NVRs. I'll walk through what a dream machine normally does. It acts as a router as well as a controller for the rest of your Ubiquiti gear and as an NVR or network video recorder. But what I'm assuming is that because we have so many cameras, we can't just use a single hard drive, which is all that the Dream Machine has uh, a bay for, and that's why. All of the cameras in this house, or at least I think half of them, are gonna be 4K, and then the rest of them are gonna be 1440p. So you need both a lot of capacity and a lot of recording power. When I originally spec this out, I had two 48 port patch panels, but because we're gonna have two 24 port 10 gig switches rather than one 48, we're gonna wanna get two 24s and split it up. So leave that one empty. Oh, okay. Go to the next one. Oh, oh, this is what we need next. 10 gig. You know what? I think the problem might just be that Ubiquity's rack nuts are kind of crappy. That's what I was saying. Can this hold me? Ooh. Oh my God. I know, oh but I need God. to be able to see a bit better. God, these suck. You entirely convinced it's not a, you know, hubcack? <laughs> this is absolutely sick. I love it. Can I have a screw? Thank you. You promise me then that I can have lime green patch cables? Oh my God. This house is gonna have the most baller networking that's just not gonna be used for like literally months. 
while you're waiting for permits and stuff. Why do you have to go there was, was right that now? Too real. For Why you? would you do that? Why would you say that? The project's been delayed by like a total of I think five months now. Because of permits. Yeah. Thank you. I love you so much. That's why I live here. Just kidding. The geography was convenient. That's the only reason. I'm supposed to be moved in now. Hopefully it's less than six months. Now you might think, Linus, why do you need 96 network ports? And the answer is because there's gonna be somewhere between 60 and 70. Oh, you're throwing screws at me. Thank you. There's gonna be somewhere between 60 and 70 network devices between all the computers in the house, security cameras, Wi Fi access points, and anything else that needs to be wired up to the rack with Cat 6A. So we've got 48 ports of just regular 10 gig with these Enterprise XGs, and then we've got another 48 ports of power over ethernet. So that'll handle all the cameras. I think there's 32 Wi cameras or something? 30 cameras? And then eight access points. So we'll actually be using 40 of those 48 ports for like active PoE devices. Does it have that power? I don't know, probably. My rack shake brings all the boys to the yard. Oh no. Yeah, I don't really think I need this many hard drives for the NVR. Well, you could put lower cap ones. Okay. I maybe have, oh my. Yeah, these are not good. Come on, is it in? It's in, okay, it's in. Here we go. Oh, wow. Hey, it's Wait, on. Did you plug in the RPS too? Oh yeah, you uh, did. Okay, so can you stick it through the hole? Yes. Very gently. Oh God, oh no. Oh, who's ruining it now? Me. This is not a cable you can just clean with your shirt. No. <laughs> Wow, I don't see a light down it anymore. Did you kink it or something? Look at this twist tie. Why is it such a huge twist tie? I'm gonna have to twist this like 20 times. <laughs> <sighs> oh, we got fail. Really? I'm just kidding. I'm oh, just kidding. you piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Internet connected, woo! Well, that was easy. Look at this, shows up right away. Unify network app. I was already logged in because I have Unify crap at home. Oh! Are you logged in the right one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, New console found, Dream Machine Pro. Not here. <laughs> Are you uh, screen recording? Screen recording. You're not my mom! I'm your dad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now, I don't know why it says distance, not near. It's talking about like Bluetooth distance. like. Yeah, but I was like, yeah, I was right there. Through a metal rack, I don't know. I don't know. Sure, whatever. I'm gonna call this House of Dreams because it will never be a reality. Thank you. I log in and it immediately starts doing an internet speed test. Loving that Telus Pure Fiber. I've had a lot of bad experiences with Telus. Don't consider this an endorsement, but their Pure Fiber is really fast. <laughs> Man, look at that. It's perfect. Yeah, so I guess we better, oh yeah, okay, you are connecting other stuff to it already. Yeah, oh, look, there at, you go. look at you go with the 10 gig adapters and So everything. these ports actually are technically 25 gig, but what I found out is if one of these is set to 25, they both have to be. So then we can't do a 10 gig between these two. Oh. If this one's 25. This is so sick. I know, right? I'm so excited. Ah! I just wanna touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really a toucher. I guess it's time to... Time to ditch the PoE injector. We can just plug the access point in directly. Oh, buddy, look at this. Oh yeah. Look at how mint this tucks in here. Everything is great. Ow. House of Dreams, is that what you called it? Yeah, because that's never gonna be real. Nice. Yeah. I'll change it to House of Reality when I move in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a touch screen? What, don't you have some of these at home? Yeah, I just didn't think they were They're touch all touch screen, what do you mean? That's the whole point. Oh, we can set these to pink. Oh, it changes them all, what? That's awesome. That is some nerdy, nerdy shiz right there. Man, some guy spent like a week on that. <laughs> the NVR and NVR Pro both showed up. Okay, wait, don't, don't adopt it yet. Don't oh. do it. No, no. I, I clicked the button, I'm sorry. Did it let you adopt them both at the same time? Uh, no, I think it's one at a time. Which one are you doing right now? Uh, the Pro, you <laughs> got this. I'm adopting the other one now. Hey, Linus. What's up? You're adopted. So you're not my real dad, is I what mean, you're saying? I'm not your real dad, no. No, okay. You don't have a dad. This can be my daddy. So I think this is everything. We've got our redundant power supply, our 48 port switch, our 24 port switches, the UDM Pro. I know why the UPS isn't working! Why? Look at this. I just did this while the UPS is on. You see this connector right here? It was disconnected before. It's clearly not power, it's like sensors. And, but uh, I plugged it in and now it works. I forgot, this is quite a bit more complicated than just plugging this into the power leads and 24 volt transformer and there's a dongle that goes on it. I don't think we're doing this today. See you later, buddy.
So the idle power draw of all this networking stuff is 0.2 kilowatts, so 200 watts. What? We're pulling 200 watts? Yeah. Sitting here doing nothing? Yeah, well, there's, there's a one AP. It's a good thing we're saving all that power on the lighting. Yeah. <laughs> Jake pulled about, I think, what, 2,000 watts worth of, worth of incandescent lighting out of the living room? Each bulb, 150 watts. Replaced them all with LED and probably went from 2,000 watts down to maybe 200. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what the Wi-Fi is like. 250. This AP is also very directional, so. Oh, 350, 360, <laughs> that's directionality, holy sh The good news is they will be mounted properly on the ceiling the way we showed you in that video, which you should go check out if you're looking for something else to watch because we're done and this video is brought to you by Volta. The Volta Spark 60 watt is a nylon braided charging cable that features their snag safe magnetic connection to help prevent the risk of accidents. It also allows convenient swapping between lightning, micro USB and USB-C tips. There's another Spark version, the 100 watt one, which is Quick Charge 4.0 compliant to power your Google and Samsung phones faster. Use the link in the description below to buy your Volta Spark cables risk-free with Volta's lifetime warranty and 30-day money-back guarantee.